Welcome back, Huey, to Kick On with Gamer Clark, episode 11. Um, geez, we're working through now up to a good week. We've got our stories that we're going through today, which are funny, and I'm looking forward to speaking to you today. <laughs> How's your week, yeah, mate? How was everything? Uh, yeah, it was good. Nice to get another solid win. Um, a lot of families were up actually this mm. weekend. We played the double header, not double header, but two weeks in a row in Brisbane, which means that a lot of the parents come up and get to spend a week in Brisbane with um, with their kids. So it's been it's been good. Uh, and obviously we had the the reverse raffle on, on Sunday, Sunday, which was an amazing day, and um, it's just a great chance to catch up with everyone. I think it was good to have that back. Like we haven't had it for two or three years now. So to finally have the reverse raffle back and the great Renee Fander won it, which is good. Yeah. So a lady that we always go over to houses for dinner and she's looked after us. So um, that's probably paying her back for all the times that she's put food in yeah. our plates. Everyone loves it. I think one of the, so dad had a few of his mates come up and one of the old fellas won the footy. I think it was every 25 or whatever. Yeah. And I've never seen someone hold a footy so tight. He just was not letting it go all day. And he's got this picture of him with the footy like this and Harris is like in the background <laughs> spoiling and it's, he just, Treasure possession. I reckon you'll have it up in the in the lounge room for years to come. So it, it um, is so funny how much they love it though. Like my old man, this is one of his favourite days on the calendar, and obviously I haven't had it for a few years. And I reckon he might have been oh, top ten, like got out straight away. Yeah, and he's been building this up for the last couple of weeks. I'm like, Dad, you're out. He goes, oh. I'm like, you're out. You've been drawn out. He goes, I haven't had it. Oh. And he's walked across the whole bar to the table, looked at the whiteboard, and just stood in front of it with his hand. <laughs> well, I think I was I was top ten, and Mum was top ten as well. Yeah, and I think Bez, Bez was there yeah. as well. So there was questions being asked, but then we went out ten and nine. So I think it might have oh, been. <laughs> and it's pretty less who usually does a pick. So you can't have a play winning it, but it's just good to have everyone in a relaxed setting. Um, and the boys were able to enjoy themselves after a win and then we'll, we'll move on um, with a seven-day break and we've got the, the Crows over there on Sunday, which will be a really hard hard test for us. Yeah, they've been playing some good footy. You've got Hingy, Hingy um, over there, which would be good to play yeah. against him again. Um, but the Crows have been playing some, some awesome footy. Um, they've been playing exciting, so I'm sure it's going to be a pretty good game. I think they might be the number one t- scoring team in the first quarter, I think. Yeah, they've started really well um, a few times now and they're really dangerous. Um Got a lot of players with really good foot skills, and um, yeah, we'll need to be on on our A game to be able to to be able to stop that. But um, probably going back to the Q clash, it was really solid win. We probably about, before we go to the footy, how are we, we going to talk go? about stories? <laughs> Rightio, do you want to go? So, no, you go first. Last oh, week right we uh, we put up the sending your best kick on stories, and I've been given an absolute ripper. Um, <laughs> but you, you can go yeah, first. Yeah, I don't have a good feeling about this, but anyway, <laughs> um, from Nate, caught the train to Goldie to watch. Us guys defeat Geelong at the game in 2021. Link's big ride game, yeah, which was an absolute game. Ripper. Was that his, his 50th, 50th as well yeah, against the old mob? Geelong and he kicked the game winner. I yeah. think I was right there when he took the mark. I'm Did in the background. Like, <laughs> 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 but uh, yeah, front row seats. Uh, anyway, not about me. It's back to uh, <laughs> back to <laughs> Nate. <laughs> Decided to keep the beers flowing uh, and continued celebrating through the night. Ended up at a mate's house, convinced a mate to ride a, mo- a mountain bike down the front stairs of an old Queenslander in Red Hill. And if you know old Queenslanders, <laughs> especially in Red Hill, it's <laughs> <those houses>. pretty <laughs> steep. <laughs> Apparently the sun was rising, went over the front of the handlebars, hit the last stair. Yeah, and went straight <laughs> off the bike, but all worth it for a good win. It looks right <laughs> at the cover, apparently. So there we go. Um, this one's a good one, Huey. You've actually told me this before, so um, I'm sure you'll, you'll pick up on it halfway through. <laughs> Gee whiz. This one's from Tom. Evening, gents. Long time listener, first time caller. <laughs> Yeah. Here's the Cooper and Kings, Vesper Ferris, and a few of the boys have been sitting back on some fruit drinks. <laughs> we headed out to the valley and only to realise that the best of Ferris of the Brisbane Lions <laughs> night fell on the same night and the Lions ran into the Huey at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> After a few sips of liquid courage, we went over and got chatting to him and as the night wore on, we decided to ask if he'd be interested in heading back to our place <laughs> where we were staying for a couple of kick-ons. We no doubt promised him the world and to our amazement, he politely accepted the offer. As a group of us piloted to an Uber, I quickly realised that there were going to be enough seats. So like the gentleman I was, I chucked the head up and opted to race a car and run two kilometres distance back this. to the apartment. I only had to realise that when we got back to the apartment, we had no drinks and Huey had left within five minutes as arriving as a guest. Sorry we let you down, mate. Oh, that's all right. It was a fun night. Um, I'm not sure how I lost the boys or what I was doing, but... No, I've been known to go for a little wander and <laughs> um, yeah, I remember do I rocked up to the apartment and yeah, there wasn't a whole lot happening. It was getting pretty late, so I just thought, right, I, the back. I better take <laughs> off here and 
<laughs> off I went. But it's the thought that counts, isn't it? It is. Hey, for those who like to come out and do that, that's um, it's good if you just to, you know, put them straight back All down. All about the fans. <laughs> if, you, if you see me out, just come up and, uh, yeah, we'll have a chat too. <laughs> um, no, that was good. We were, we'll talk about the game now. Um, the mids dominated our midfield and we knew that this was going to be a massive um, part of the game, including yourself, Lockie, Ash and Dunks all had um, great performances and, you know, coming up against a, a midfield that's actually pretty well established now. you got Raul and Anderson and, and Swallow was in there. Obviously, Tuukka Miller wasn't playing, but um, yeah, what would you, what would you, how did you feel like in there and, you know, what was your mindset going into that game and, you know, all the midfielders played a really pivotal role, so. Yeah, I think it's probably been a bit spoken about our connection and the fact that we've got two new guys that have come in and I think it's really built and you've probably seen in particular the last three or four weeks um, there's been some solid performances from from our midfield. Um, yeah, for Dunks, the big ball to go. Mm. Go head-to-head with um, Cripper, was it, a few weeks, weeks back ago. and then also um, Rowley this week and, and get the job done. It really helps us because um, it limits his ability to – to get the ball out to their outside players and yep. um, they can't be as dangerous. So he, he was good in that regard. And then Lockie obviously does what Lockie does and um, had a lot of the ball again, was really clean. I remember in the last quarter, uh, there was pro- there was a bit of a contest on out of a centre bounce in the forward line and he just, in so much traffic, picked this ball up off the deck, so went through a couple of people and, and somehow fed it through a little window to <laughs> me waiting on the outside as I usually am. Um, <laughs> but it, yeah, it's it's coming together really nicely and I think um, there's still a bit of improvement left in us but each week someone different's popping up I mean you know we've got Bez as well who f- a few weeks ago had a really good game and then on the weekend again he's popping up and having yeah. um, shots at goal and you've got Ashy, Lockie, Dunks who, who are all Starting to really consistent really yeah, well. yeah. Um, but if someone it's like the forward line if someone's a little bit down one day then we know that someone else is going to step up and, and then you've got Bales and Zork as well who are really dangerous up forward and can shoot through the yeah. midfield as well and yourself who it's been, been working out well. Time in the I was just going to say, you, me and Bez might have to actually have a couple of uh, extra minutes out of the track with our set-shot goal kicking this <laughs> week. Well, hey, I'll, I'll keep oh, no, I was going to say, but the look in your face when it came off your boot, I was like, oh, it's not <laughs> missed, does it? Well, it's, it's, it was it's fading. Almost, I was almost too close. I picked my guy in the crowd. Like, Let's just, just kick it to him. And I've, I don't know, shot off a little bit right. But um, where did Bez, he kicked Bez, one and yeah, then... missed mine. Me and Bez missed ours back to back. I yeah. picked my guy in the crowd, but I hit it with a pitching wedge instead of the driver <laughs> and just went straight up in the air. Uh, that's all right. We're actually going okay all in all with our goal king, so we'll we'll keep working on it. Um, but Joey as well, we'll probably yeah. speak about him. He, his confidence is just really high and um, he's crashing packs. He's mm. doing some really, really good stuff in the air and he's finishing off his work as well. Um, it's so actually you get it, you, like you're actually using the ball really, really well from up the field as well, which is good. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously having Oscar as our main ruck, um, when he can go in there and it kind of mm. gives us a bit of a different look. Yeah. Almost not having another midfielder in there sometimes. Yeah, the he's way got he beautiful skills and, and moves well. Um, and then probably Hippie as well. All our tall forwards, Gunners, they're just bringing the ball to ground. They're getting their, getting their job done and it allows Bales, Sorks, um, yourself, Charlie to, to do what you do when it hits the ground. Um, so it's really exciting to see yeah, everything clicking. We'll touch on um, Sharpie as well. Sharpie kicked his goal and we actually got around him this time yes. <laughs> instead of last week. Yeah. Um, or two weeks ago, sorry, what he missed. <laughs> but he's been playing some good footy. He's come in and done, um, you know, everything that's required. And I think that's been the best thing about the blokes that have come in in and out this year. It's kind of been really seamlessly, like we've touched on Frog recently on the show and uh, I know he's a long-time listener, Frog, so we'll give you another <laughs> shout-out if we have to, mate. And we can get you back we'll get on back this on time. You have to speak yeah. into the mic. Um, but he's been coming in and, um, and doing some really good stuff, which is good. And, um, you know, it's hard to see him going out of the team anytime soon. And you see Sharpie come in and doing what Sharpie's been doing. So um, it's been awesome. And if we can keep that, you know, as Fags has touched on over the last couple of weeks to us, um, we just need consistent players. We don't need anyone standing out. And I feel like we've had that over the last couple of weeks. We've just been really good. So yeah. um, we're going to need that this week as well, as we were touching on before against the Crows. Um, I reckon it will be close to nearly a full house at Adelaide mm. Oval. Um, Adelaide supporters have been out and about this year and yeah. um, they're playing some good footy. And um, we're talking about before playing against Hingy and Keezy and, and Keezy played his 100th game last week. He did, yeah. Great so, reward for him. He's, um, he's be, done it tough, but... Yeah, he has. It'd be, uh, it'd be a good game to, to come up against them. You know, they've got blokes in the forward line like Rankin and um, Rochelle. He'll give our defenders a good match, but um, we're looking forward to it. Yeah, definitely. It'll be tough, tough test over there and... Um, 
yeah, also Charlie, who we can't get on this show. He's up against the old the old mob, so it's always good when he gets back there. I think he's played a few good games against the Crows um, in previous years, but hopefully he can turn on again and we can, we we just can try again to get him on. We need one game where Charlie can kick five What do you reckon? Goals. If he kicks five or six, or yep. we'll, we'll, get have, it, we'll, we'll definitely have to get, get him on. on. We'll have to... Um, all the uh, the listeners as well. You can blow up his phone and send a message on Instagram and, and get him going. Or we can, we'll put out a yeah, petition. Yeah, no, don't that. Let's, that's really annoying. It's like when you put someone's phone number on an yeah. ad. <laughs> yeah, like a Jim, Jim Smolin. Yeah, I'm not saying I'm going. <laughs> um, no, we will. We'll get, we've got to get Charlie on. So we'll wait for him to have a good game because, um, you know, he goes a little bit AY if he hasn't played well. So you won't see him throughout the week. But we'll try and find him and um, we'll get him on. But, but that's all right. No, Charlie. We've got Kitty Coleman. We've got Kitty next Coleman. Best thing. Yes, he's, um, he's uh, coming on with us after the break, which would be really good. Um, you know, he played his 50th game on the weekend and we're looking forward to having a chat to him. But um, we'll quickly touch on the VFL before we go to the break as well. Um, 117-point winners, playing some really good footy. It was good to see our favourite, Kyle Lohman, kick seven yeah. and celebrated every oh, single one to the last quarter. Passion as ever. Um, but they played some serious... Again, the midfielders there, um, just on top again. Yeah, watch the start of the game. Um, actually, the, the live stream was down it was at really? the very beginning. Which well, was... I had the timer on my TV because um, they was doing like a countdown before yes. you go. Yeah. And then the game... Didn't start. Yeah. And I was sitting there stressing. <laughs> I was watching the, on? the scores, and we started kicking a couple of goals. Yeah. And I was because like, it works perfectly when we play a night at game. night. Yeah, um, to watch the boys play, but managed to catch a bit of it. And I thought Dev was really, really good early. Mm. Um, just in tight, he's so strong, and as are all their mids. Really, JL just keeps doing what JL does, and um, and has racked up the and touches, forty four touch. and ten clearances. <laughs> That's a fair old game. Um, <laughs> I think all the midfielders dominate. I, here we go. While we're talking, we've got Kitty coming yeah, in he's now. In. <laughs> the Kings here. Um, yeah, the stats were heavily in our favour. Um, so they're putting pressure on us boys to keep performing and um, undefeated, only undefeated team in the comp. So they're ticking along nicely. Yeah, beautiful. We'll quickly go to our break now as Kitty's walked in and um, we'll get him on and, and can have a chat to him. So here we go. 2023 Brisbane Lions memberships are on sale now. A new era has arrived. Go all in at membership.lions.com.au. Cam, did you know that everyone hears differently and what your left ear hears will be different to your right? I've actually never really thought about that, to be honest, Hugh. Yep. Well, we all care about our general health as players, but now, thanks to our healthy hearing partner, Odira, we know that hearing is such an important part of our well-being. Since we started using Odira's headphones and personalise them through our app to our individual hearing profile, music just sounds clearer. I definitely don't have to turn it up as loud, which protects my hearing. For our listeners, if you're interested in learning more about Adira, head to adira.com. And if you're a Brisbane Lions member, don't forget to check out your member benefits page to get 20% off. All right, welcome back after the break to kick on with Cam and Clark. We're joined by Kitty. Um, Mate, thanks for jumping on. Thanks for taking time out in the morning. Um, how was the game on the weekend? No, it was good. Very good win. Um, I was saying before, Gold Coast were pretty good. So, mm. And they, they, they always come up pretty well against us, and we sort of knew that going into the game. So it was just sort of that gr- the grind and, like we talked about, playing the rock. So. They, um, they play a bit of a similar style to us, actually, um, especially when they play up. Because it's a bit more humid up here, I feel like they just try and get it going forward and, yeah. and get, their, get their forwards involved, and they just kept... We sort of kicked away and then they just kept coming back. Kept coming back. But 50 games, Kitty, that great effort. Um, did you have some, some family and friends get there and, and celebrate that with them? Or? Yeah, so um, the whole lead-up was a bit, a bit stressful for myself because <laughs> my whole family was putting in orders like, oh, what do you reckon? Can you get us some tickets? Do you reckon you get us a box? And <laughs> so I ended up getting three boxes, <laughs> 20, 22, 22 tickets, 22 tickets. I'm like, all right, fam, you're going to be happy now. Don't ask for anything else for the rest of the year. Right? Wait, wait till 100 games. Yeah, I know. Imagine 100 games, 50 <laughs> tickets for five boxes. You're going to have the whole wing booked out. Yeah. Um, oh, so was great. that family all over the shop that have come and um, were they, did you have to spend time with them over the weekend or, or what was it like? Did you try and see them before the game? Or Yeah, so i got like my auntie, my grandma that live here, but had my mum come down with my nephew, um, had my uncle come down and yeah, it was just all sorts so... I'm happy they were happy, so that's all that matters. So. Actually, I saw them in the rooms after the game, yeah. so yeah. getting you a few things signed. Well, and yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's good. It's good um, to see everyone running around underneath again, like because yeah. we weren't allowed to have family in there, obviously during COVID, mm. and um, now that they can come down and have a beer and just enjoy, especially after a win, it's great to see everyone see around. And they stand up when we sing the song, and um, you know, obviously, you usually have all the kids running around, and um, yeah. that's pretty awesome. And we'll touch on a little bit about that. So before the captains run, we had. Um, 
was it the Murray School? Is that right? Yeah, Murray School. Murray so school. they came down, and I think Anthony Crowe organised something. So done a bit of welcome to country, and had a lot of family come down. So partners, a few kids, and so your little girl running around, Hazel yeah, running around. Little, there. Yeah, little Hazel was coming down. So she was. It was funny because when they were talking, she was being a bit noisy, and I said, "Oh, come here, get on the ground, get on the ground, be quiet." <laughs> but no, it was pretty funny. So it was. It was good turnout and. The boys are well, so um, I guess she's learned a few things, so mm. it was good. How um, how important was last week to you, Kitty? Obviously, playing your 50 game, and it's pretty awesome to play it in Sir Doug Nichols' round as well. Um, we were speaking to Coxie and uh, Cocky and um, Nuxy last week, mm. and they were talking about the jumper and how important this round is to them. What's the What was the feeling like for you last week, and, and how cool was it for you to play your 50th in that game? Yeah, it was awesome. So 50th game, Sir Doug Nichols' round, I was very happy. Um, it's a special round all, all together mm. for Aboriginal people. Also Torres Strait Islanders as well. So um, I guess to play in that round, um, get a get a win as well and um, play Gold Coast in a Q clash it was pretty fun. So um, it's always a special round and very, very always happy to play. Absolutely. Those. And tell us a bit about your journey, Giddy. Obviously so you grew up in Darwin and then you made your way down to Brisbane um, when you were when you were quite young. Um, how did how did that all come about and how did you get into into AFL and um, yeah, what was your pathway yeah, to the So Lord? initially uh, my grandma and Pop they owned a house in Brisbane. So um, in two thousand nine we come down for Christmas just, just for a visit, just to surprise them because never really left the Northern Territory and come down for maybe a couple of weeks for Christmas and then head headed back home and I think Mum was just like, oh, do you just want to head back for school? And, that's when, and my brother and uh, myself, so Blake, um, were like, yeah, sure, we'll, we'll head back up. And didn't really know what to expect, whether we'd sort of complete school here or just, it was just more so just go for a little bit, see how you, try, see how you try go. It out yeah, just bit. try it out. And then um, the opportunity of playing AFL footy turned up, uh, rock, uh, turned up sorry, and um, sort of just stayed and it's worked out pretty well. And Brisbane's basically home now, so. Yeah. So you both played at Morningside, didn't you? Yeah, so played like... Under nines to under twelves for winning Vikings, yeah, and then went to Morningside for a bit, bit more ex- exposure in terms of like structured footy and stuff. Like that, yeah, so. we were just talking off air about you playing a few other sports when you grew up in Queensland. You obviously play a bit of rugby league, and yeah. you're telling me about the big hit you caught. Yeah. <laughs> you turned you off rugby well, league. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only eighty kilos now. Imagine when I was in yeah. grade eight, mate. <laughs> I would have been fifty kilos, <laughs> fifty kilos, bloody arms, <laughs> bloody legs. <laughs> And across from you got bloody 110 kilo players. So I'm like, oh, all right, I'll give rugby league a crack. Because all my mates at the time were like, yeah, you'll be right. You know, you can you can kick the footy and stuff. Yeah. Sort of forgot, like, the other teams, they're running out they're here. Running out yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Some of you are like, oh, I tackle. Oh, like, nah. <laughs> but no, nah, it was good. It was good. Just a bit of exposure for different sports. And um, no, nah, I enjoyed it. Good memories. And um, But yeah, that, that knocked to the head, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Sort of done it for me. Yeah. <laughs> a bit more time and space. Yeah. You know, is, that last, is that last time you stepped on a rugby field? Yeah, as well? last time. <laughs> I was running the ball up, got hit in, like, didn't even get hit in the head, and I'm like, wow. Oh. <laughs> you still enjoy watching it, though. Are you Cowboys? Yeah, yeah I'm, a, I'm a North Queensland Cowboys yeah. fan. N- not going too well at the nah, moment. Nah, what happened on the weekend? Yeah, oh, so I know. Lost that West t- Tigers, isn't it? The side went and um, Stars came up to me. He's like, mate, Cowboys just got pumped. I'm like, oh, <laughs> bloody hell. <laughs> is this on six the ground? Six. Is this on the, like, on the ground for yeah, us? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, after the game, yeah. Because um, has been given inside knowledge yeah, by show. someone. So yeah. <laughs> the worst thing was it was the West Tigers. Yeah, <laughs> I know, I know of all teams. But you were you did you go to a Magic Round? Yeah, magic we, round yeah, that so was yeah me, Cam, uh, Eric, and Painy, Painy as yeah. well, and Charlie. So it was pretty fun. Charlie was, was walking fun. around like he was the king as he does, and yeah. even Charlie actually last week did the um. The coin toss for the Broncos and that's right. There's a Broncos store. Ah, uh, Broncos Penrith. Yep, Penrith. And he's yep. been walking around, but we've been talking. You've got to stuck it in Charlie's word because we're going to try and get him on this show. But you know what Charlie's like when it comes to like media and yeah. social stuff. He doesn't want to do anything. So. <laughs> he loves it, but he talks like he <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. He like he wants to talk <laughs> yeah. himself up, but he actually won't do it. So I'm um, just waiting for him to kick a few, and then he'll probably jump yeah. on. If he kicks one or two, he's walking around the club. He's yeah. got a mope in that. So he walk around the club with no shirt on. You know he's had a good game when he's in the gym with his flex. Um, do you want to tell us a bit? about the academy kitty so i reckon was it been my i would have been my first year when i was drafted you were in the academy then yeah um and then you just spent two years in the academy before you got picked up or one was yeah it? so got approached to do academy around 14 years old um but didn't like start training until i was 16 17 like in the academy because i wasn't really taking footy that serious so um under 16 under 17 sort of started taking it serious because of the opportunity of allies took uh, came around and yeah. um you know got to play like big country and SA and all that, which is cool. pretty, yeah, pretty good yeah. team. So, um, yeah, Academy was good. 
it was more so like just learning the discipline and all that stuff around responsibility and stuff like that off field. So yeah, um, it, was, it was it was it was pretty good and. Got to play a few near four games, which is fun. So won a premiership there as well. Yeah, absolutely. You're you part of that premiership team, the um, undefeated. Yeah, with Eggs. Yeah, yeah. with Eggsy. Did with he Eggsy win the medal that year? Yeah, Eggsy had Benny Keys, Basti. Yeah, that's it was a good, good team. team. Yeah, we had a lot of good key position players. Yeah. I think maybe even Walks and all those sort of guys still, still playing in there. Still yeah. playing. Gaz lines as well. So yeah, yeah, that's right. Tell so us, you, you go, Yui. Sorry, you were half back during academy. Then you came here and played a bit of forward. Yeah, and then you went back to half yeah. back. So I think when I got drafted. Because my knee fall, I, play, I was playing forward because, like, that team was pretty stacked. So, like, back line, I couldn't really play back line that year. Yeah, so, yeah. got to learn forward through knee fall. And then when I got drafted, I think I had a good season in knee fall playing forward. So, it was just more so, like, okay, just easy transition into yeah, the AFL. You can, yeah, yeah, keep the keep same spot. And um, it was fun. Like, when I came in, I was a bit nervous because had big boys going around. So. <laughs> <laughs> just like, he, he was massive for, for an 18-year-old. Like, oh, this bloke. <laughs> but, nah, yeah, so. Getting like, flashbacks from those rugby days about someone to take you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 but, nah, it was, it was good. Yeah. No, and then, so you played, you debuted for forward. Yep. You kicked nice. We just watched, because yeah, we watched yeah. the highlights package before the 50th, oh, yeah, yeah. you kicked a nice goal early on. And then, I remember when they moved you back because I didn't know you played back yeah. through juniors. I thought, oh, what's, going, what's <laughs> going on here? <laughs> what are they doing for oh, this guy? <laughs> now I know what he's but like. Now, but yeah. now I, um, yeah, I can see exactly why they did it. And, yeah, how do you find playing in that back line with Chief and, and these sort of guys um, helping you and directing you around? Yeah, it's good having um, Chief. Um, Richie. 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 Yeah, you had Dizzy as well and Marcus. So yeah. um, coming in was sort of easy. Not, not easy more so, but, like, they just said just sort of play a style and, they could support you. Yeah, when you when you play with those blokes, like they're always talking. So, yeah. Um, and you had Froggy Lester as well, and um, yeah. So it was just sort of easy, but just they were just reminded me just to play my own, own game. So yeah. um, it was just more so just yeah. Back, your, so back yourself in and yeah. So Go from there. I can see that. What's about um Hazes? Tell us a little bit about your kid. Um, you know, there, there's starting to be a little few kids running around. There's kids everywhere at the yeah, moment, bit, and yeah, a bit of a family club. You yeah. gonna have another one come soon, or what's going on there, Kitty? Yeah, so I have got a young daughter. <laughs> for the people that don't know, um, she's almost two. Um, she, she's at home at the moment, but yeah, so she she's pretty good. Yeah, different perspective on life for myself. Um, keeps me grounded as well, and a lot of responsibility, but. My partner Riley does a pretty good job at home and takes care of her. So, yeah. but she goes to daycare three days a week, and um, she doesn't really come to too many footy games because she's on a tight, a tight sleeping schedule. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we don't want to muck that up. <laughs> 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 don't want to come to training, but you days and stuff. So. But no, nah, she's she's awesome. She's um she's getting a bit of personality about herself. So. What about Blakey? How was Blakey going when he was living with you? And oh, he'd no, come in every morning to me and be like, bloody babies <laughs> yeah. kept me up all night, brother. <laughs> Blakey acted like he'd done something, but he didn't. He, he, was, he was knocked out in his room. <laughs> nah, he, um, so Blake lived with me for about, I don't know, maybe eight months last year and he's finally moved out. He's living with Moddy and Caleb Lane. So <laughs> I don't know how that's going. But, <laughs> but nah, he was good. He, he wouldn't have changed. He didn't change a nappy, but he helped out like just looking after it for like 10 minutes while I went to the shop. He, and he couldn't touch a nappy. <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah. He left the room. Uh, he's, he's, he went back to his room. So, nah, but he, he's a pretty good uncle to be fair. So, um, I've got, I've got a big family, so he, he does well. He looks after him. Yeah. No, that's good. All right. Well, uh, Huey, we finally got the quiz back, and, and you're I'm in. Back on. Kitty. Um, Let's go. Oh, no go. pressure here to you, <laughs> Kitty. Huey hasn't won once. What's, He's what's like, the quiz? So you've got five <laughs> questions. Um, you, your name is your buzzer. So if you know the answer, say Kitty. Yep. Or go meow. Here. Oh, yeah. Kitty, kitty, meow, meow, if you want. Kitty, kitty, meow, meow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where that came from. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Huey, Kitty. Obviously, just say Hugh. So... Um, <laughs> What word is always spelt incorrectly in the dictionary? Incorrectly. Oh. Oh, kitty. Oh, no, kitty. No. <laughs> He's still got kitty in there first. Kitty incorrectly. Yes, baby. There it is. Yeah, One's it. So he was down already. Too slow. Let's go switch on. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. All right. How many Marcus Ashcroft medals has Lockie Neal won now? Clug. Yep. Uh, two. Oh, nice. Okay, one, yep. one. On the topic, name the animal that is making a new home on Lockie's shoulder. His tattoo. Clug. I know it's a bird. A dove. No. Oh. No, nah, I couldn't tell you. Andrew. Um, uh, Starts with S. <laughs> I don't know my bird, sorry. What was it? We played against him on the weekend. Kitty. <laughs> Andrew. <What>? Andrew. <laughs> 
Swallow. <laughs> swallow. <laughs> oh, Swallow. My bad. <laughs> All right, mate. It's well, going to be a draw. Why not? Why not? Yeah, it's going to uh, be a draw. <laughs> um, name the three current players who played in the Miracle on Grass game. Kid. Plug. Oh. Yes. So you got uh, Zorks? Yep. Richie. Yeah. And there's one more. Uh, Richie. Froggy. Yeah. No. <laughs> Gizzy, this well is done. good. <laughs> All right. You, you should get this. It's going to be yeah. a, it's going to be a tiebreaker, I reckon. Which former Lions player played his 100th game on the weekend? Former Lions player. Kitty? Oh, yes. <laughs> Adelaide Crows, Ben Keys. Oh, oh, we just started. talked about that. Yeah. I literally yeah. we were just talking about <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When you were standing outside, we were literally talking about this on the show before. I was like, he's going to get it. He's a bit rattled. So he's, he's what is slow. he, 0 for 1? No, he's like 0 for 7. 0 for 1, I wish. He's like 0 for 7, man. Oh. Honestly, he's been shocking, but... Um, no, nah, thanks very much, Cover Dog Kitty. Um, thanks for the chat. Um, thanks for Odira for the, the podcast and everyone listening. Give us a subs- subscription, a rate and review, and um, we'll start that petition to try and get Charlie on next week. And <laughs> hopefully if we can kick him a couple of goals this week, get him on. But yeah, thanks no, very much, thanks Kitty. Thanks, thanks, thanks Kitty. Cheers. Unreal.